Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Okay, now we are going to look at an example of how to get a state space equation out of a transfer function. This example shows a transfer function with a constant term in the numerator. The question wants us to find the state space representation in phase variable form for the transfer function shown below. This is the transfer function with a constant term in the numerator. So this is a transfer function of a third order system. The order of a system is defined by looking at the greatest power of s in the denominator. The, the transfer function can also be represented in a form of a block diagram. Rs as the input and Cs as the output of the system. And in the middle of the system is the transfer function. As the transfer function taken from the previous slide, we start the process with the first step that is by cross multiplying both sides of the transfer function as shown in equation 1. Step 2 we find the corresponding differential equation using inverse Laplace transform and also by assuming all initial conditions as zero. Taking the inverse Laplace transform of S power of three, we get C triple prime, nine S power of two, we get 9c double prime, 26s, we get 26c prime, 24, we get 24c, and 24r, s, we get 24r, which forms the equation number 2. The differential equation can also be written in another form where we start replacing C with X1 as the C be integrated to C prime the subscript of X is increased then we get X2 then C prime be integrated again, then the subscript increases again, so we get x3 until we find the C with the greatest prime, so we remain the C triple prime here and form equation number 3. Or the differential equation of the transfer function can also be represented in the normal differentiation form. Step 3, we rearrange equation 3 and find the C triple prime, which is equals to minus 24x1 minus 26x2 minus 9x3 plus 24r, which forms equation number 5. In this slide, we are going to make use equation 2, 3, and 4 from the previous slide. We are going to select the state variable. Choosing the state variable as successive derivatives, we get x1, x2, and x3. Since we have a transfer function with a third order system, therefore we need three 
state variables. x1, according to equation 3, is equals to c in equation 2, follows by x2 equals to c prime and x3 equals to c double prime. By differentiating both sides and making use of the equation over here to find x1 prime, x2 prime, and x3 prime, where the right hand side of the state variables also be differentiated, becoming c prime, c double prime, and c triple prime. And for the output, we get y equals to c equals to x1 and be named as equation 6. And this is the equation of c triple prime taken in the previous slide. So from these equations that we have created, we are going to organize it in a table. We map the table as at the first column to be the derivative of the state vector with respect to time. The first top row <coughs> is the state vector and the input or control vector and at the bottom of the table we're going to have the output now we are going to fill in the table according to this equation x1 prime is equals to c prime where c prime over here is equals to x2 means that the state vector x2 over here is activated with 1 the same process goes to x2 prime where x2 prime is equals to c2 prime where c2 prime is equals to x3 means that we're going to put a 1 in this box and for x3 prime is equal to c triple prime where c triple prime is equals to this equation so we are going to put minus 24 minus 26 minus 9 and plus 24 in this row respectively as for y equals to x1 we are going to put a 1 under column x1 for y and for the rest of the box we are going to put 0 As the table is complete, we are going to produce the state space and the output matrix. We can see here is our derivative of state vector with respect to time taken here and this system matrix is taken from this box over here and we have the state vector from here and we have the input matrix over here with 
this input or control vector and for the output we have the output matrix 1 0 0 and we have the state vector so we have completed our state space and output equation as we have completed our state space and output equation in a matrix form we can also write or represent state space and output equation in this form which is similar to the form of this equation and finally from the equations that we get in the previous slides we can draw an equivalent block diagram the equation that is important for us to draw the block diagram is equation 6, equation 5, and equation 2. As usual, to draw a block diagram, we're going to draw first the most important part of the block diagram, which is consisting an input signal and an output signal where the output signal is produced due to the input signal over here and after that we are going to decide what is going to be in the middle between the input and the output signal from the equation over here y is equals to c and equals to x1 y is equals to c and equals to x1 and from this equation we can see that we have a c over here and we have c prime and c double prime and c triple prime so to produce c prime we have to integrate once the C. So we can produce C prime, which is e also equals to X2. And to produce C double prime, we have to integrate again. Then we can get C double prime and X3. In order to get C triple prime, we have to integrate again so we get c triple prime so now we look at the multiplier of c is a constant term 24 so from c over here we need a constant 24 like this and a constant for c prime is equals to 26 so c prime with a constant 26 and a multiplier for C double prime is 9 where we create a multiplier for C double prime with a constant of 9 and a multiplier multiplier for R is equal to 24 so R over here goes with a multiplier 24 so all of these are being summed to become c triple prime where c triple prime is located here means that all should be summed at this point for us to create c triple prime and finally, don't forget the minus and positive signs. Since 
we have negative signs over here so all the signals comes from 9 26 and 24 must be signed as negative while 24 is positive so we put a positive here so finally we have completed our equivalent state space block diagram